Um, I represent uh, the AppSaholic arm of Perk.com. Uh, Perk.com is a loyalty platform. We reward our users for things that they would normally do online anyway. All right. uh, watching content, things along those lines. We've gotten a lot of success developing our own apps. So we're here both as a game developer, a, uh, an app developer, and also uh, we have recently released some new SDKs that will help uh, new app and expi aspiring app developers uh, be able to monetize their apps much better. All right, all right. So Mr. Berman, uh, moving on, how was the session here? Oh, it was great. It was an excellent discussion. Uh -huh. um, we, uh, we covered a lot of things. Uh, I think my uh, favorite topic was actually how to develop for India and what the, what the right. future for India is uh, in monetization. All right, all right. So uh, some of the questions that were brought up were things along the lines of, is video something that will pay? You know, oh. is, something, is, uh, is monetization something that we can expect to work in India or should we be developing our games globally? Okay. And uh, I think that we all came to the conclusion that yes, you should develop for India. I think India is becoming such a rapidly growing market and it already is a growing market. But do you personally believe in the rewarded video concept as ads? Yeah. Like, do you believe in it? Well, I believe, that they, I believe that rewarded video is likely something that your users will find the least intrusive. So it gives you the most customization options as a app developer to really be able to ask your users how engaged they want to be with your, with your uh, with your advertisements. All right, all right. So uh, this also happens to be your first uh, NGDC uh, like conference, which you have attended here in Pune. Yep. How has the experience been? Oh, it's been it's been excellent. It's been right. it's been really good, both for for us as a company and for me. Uh -huh. um, I've been really excited to see what everybody has been been creating here. Um, some of the some of the younger game developers that I spoke to while I was here seemed to be very excited, uh, coming up with some really unique things. Um, the uh, the indie market here, I think, is, is really like proving that they can be very innovative. And uh, I think that as the, as the industry keeps growing here, the, uh, you'll start to see some of the most exciting games come from, from right here. All right, all right, all right. So uh, do tell me, uh, Mr. Berman, uh, the evolution of the gaming industry in India. You see, how, how gaming has evolved over the course of time is exponential. India is now a primarily a potential market after China to have a good potential of unique users and mm -hmm. visitors for apps. So how do you see this going considering we have a conference also which is like one of the biggest in this country on game development and app development. So how do you see this going? Well, it, it se certainly seems very positive. The, uh -huh. the most important thing is that there's a lot of demand here. All right. And an extraordinarily large amount of demand here. Uh -huh. uh, and as a result, the supply is going to follow, okay. right? If, if, if if the demand is there, you can expect to see that uh, advertisers are going to move here. App, app developers are going to use this as um, the, one of their primary target markets in the future. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, so would you care to share some good techniques on how to monetize your apps or games on, or like how to market them better? Because Absolutely. That's a, that's a major problem which developers mm -hmm. face because you can like make a good product at the end of the day, but if you don't know how to market it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and, and generally speaking, most people uh, and even here, you'll see most people think you know the only way to monetize your app is in-app purchases, right? It's the only yeah. cool way to do it. Yeah. We don't want to show ads to our users. But the truth is, some of the most successful apps that you'll ever see are, if they are using in-app purchases, are actually finding it boosted by the rewarded video moments that they're that they're using. Yeah. Um, why not give your users the ability to sample what you're offering them in-app without paying for it before you offer them the ability to pay for it? Um, you know, we. Have, being a developer ourselves, have seen a lot of success. People want to get value back, and it's it's the most important thing to think about when designing an app for monetization is what kind of value are you exchanging with your users. All right. So are you videos don't have to be intrusive, okay. especially if those users are being asked to, asked whether or not they want to view them, and if they're getting something in exchange, it's e even more better. Like it's even better for them. All right. All um, right. So my, my advice would be to uh, starting developers to, to really look at video as an option. And when doing so, design your flow of your game where you're not just throwing ads or spamming different partners at them. You're really customizing it to the way that your app is designed. All right, all right. So uh, Mr. Berman, uh, so I know, I know it's, uh, it's a pretty interesting thing to ask. How did you end up in the gaming industry? Ah, so I've been playing games my entire life. I'm a yourself, of super, super nerd. I'm not going to, uh, like, as long as I can remember. Um, and I, you know, started my career actually in uh, working with uh, Eastman Kodak doing uh, developing cameras. Okay. But I quickly moved over to the technology space 
just because, I mean, that, that's kind of where my passion's always been. And then luckily, I mean, I found my way into Perk, which, and as I was saying before, uh, we're also an app developer. We now have a suite of games as well where people are rewarded just to play the games that, they, they, that they're already playing regardless. All right. so, um, so we've had a lot of great opportunities to really get involved in the space. All right, right. So, Mr. Bowen, before I let you go, any message for our indie game developers or app developers you'd like to share? Absolutely. Um, if you are developing an app with the idea of making money off the app, and about 85% of developers out there actually have that as a goal, um, you know, and of them, you know, 82% of them are going to be using some sort of advertisement solution. Mm -hmm. If you're doing so, make sure that you customize it as much as you can. Make it, make sure that that ad placement is not jarring to your users and that you're providing them the most value possible. Also keep in mind that you have some users that are more engaged than others. Yeah. There are users that are willing to watch more than one ad. And if you're showing the same types of ads, the same ads to all your users regardless. It becomes monotonous. Exactly. And if you know and can identify those users that are the most engaged, you can monetize them better. I've seen apps that have a very small number of users making more money than apps with millions of DAUs. Because they have dedicated users. And they have exactly. users that they know they can monetize better. They have users that they know are willing to watch more videos. All right. And they're not bombarding the ones that aren't willing to with the same, with the same exact uh, monetization type. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Berman. It was a pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. It's a pleasure day. to be here. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.